Now, who are you, Doctor Boris? You the lobotomized animal before me. What other terrifying terrors will plague us in our quest for knowledge? Communists? Communist animals, perhaps? Be warned. Attempt to propaganda me. I will shriek as a frightened babe calling loyal cyber dogs to my aid. Do you comprehend, commie animal? I mean, you're not technically wrong. Humans are animals, but are you always this fucking dramatic? Drama? There is no drama in science. As I learned in high school, science is an intellectual pursuit devoid of bestial emotions. Unless, of course, you are a communist. Like Betsy Bright, who sat next to me in math, and her smoking confederate, Richie Marcus. As I learned in my high school, American High, AHS, drama is for movies, things of fiction. Here in the think tank, the only star is science. Who the fuck are you? Before you is the brain of Dr. Boros, head of animology, bestology, and DNA scrambling technology here at Big Mountain. I lay the bones and hearts of animals bare beneath my searing gaze, especially the dogs. I did so love dogs once, especially Gabe, that rascal. But there are many animals to shape. Industrious Cazadors, the happy-go-lucky Night Stalkers, they are my living, breathing DNA test tubes. Wait, you're responsible for Cazadors? Indeed. Docile. Curious. Safe. Sterile. They are contained here at Big Mountain to preserve DNA and for observation. Contained the big mountain? Those things are all over the Mojave! No, such creatures are found only here, for research purposes. They would no more be capable of escape than breeding. And what, pray tell, there, Dr. Boris, makes you think they haven't escaped? Because big mountain safety measures are far more sophisticated than their primitive animal instincts. We are their lords and masters. Hmm. I'm going to be real honest with you. I think we've spoken enough. Yo, cuckoo pants on head crazy. Until next time, then. Provided there is a next time for any of us. Oh, I really don't want to talk to the rest of you. This is what I'm going to have to deal with. Holy shit. Now, who are you? Doctor? Oh. <laughs> I really don't want to talk to you, ma'am. You give me the heebie-jeebies. You are an unusual specimen to so boldly walk into the mighty expanse of the think tank. Fearless and proud as a teddy bear. Between the extraction of their higher reasoning abilities and urination-inducing fear, most lobotomites dare not approach us, let alone speak to us. Yet you have no such fear. Facing me, epidermis flushed with blood, plasma running molten beneath, your face contorting with muscular expression. Will you indulge me? Say a few words. Face towards the monitors, please, so that I might record it for further examination. Um. <laughs> The quick scribe jumped over a paladin that is quite lazy. Yes, yes, go on. 
Seeing your lips and mouth forming words, both revolting and somehow... How does it feel to have the flesh roll around in your mouth like that? To control each muscle and the tongue? Like having a fish or extremely dexterous slug lolling and flopping in one's mouthful cavity. Who are you? And uh, why are you so fucking creepy? Why, my little bear of teddiness. I am Dr. Dollar. Whoa. First head chief researcher of mineralogy and medicinal sciences. I have 211 doctorates in both applied sciences and techniques to apply those sciences. I also possess a degree in curiosity and advanced curiosity. That is merely schooling, however. When possible, I prefer fieldwork and observation to holotape eidetics. It has proven useful, especially now. I have become the expert on humanology and lobotomite behavior here at Big Mountain. My research doesn't descend into formography. It is only science. 211 doctrines? How is that even possible? Why, we create not only scientific marvels here at Big Mountain, but new sciences as well. Everything can be quantified, categorized, and dissected until every group can be subgrouped or partitioned. Mm. I think we've spoken enough, Dollar. Until our next interaction, my intriguing little lobotomite. I need to go take a scalding hot shower and remove all of the nasty. Salutations and felicitations, sir, and a most jocund welcome to the sink. I am your electronic valet and household central processor. May I be of service, sir? Are you some kind of artificial intelligence? Regrettably not, sir. All modules in this habitat are synthetic personalities atop a mundane operating system. There is no intelligence here, sir. You mean there are other personality modules here? Indeed, sir. Though if sir's aim is to activate them, I lament to inform, sir, that most have been offline for some years. If sir were to ask my opinion, I should venture that sir is better off without them. However, if Sir is determined to inflict upon Sir's self their dubious services, Sir might locate backup personality disks elsewhere in the facility. Why is that? The other modules are rather erratic, Sir. Their personality matrices are built on flawed logic and have not weathered the years well, Sir. So I can access their functions without loading the personality holotapes? Tragically, the core operating systems are also located on the personality tapes, sir. Once the tape is installed, sir may request I switch their dialectic interfaces off, and I shall oblige with great delectation. However, sir will still be required to locate and install a backup holotape to access their functionality. Why are there so many? As I am given to understand, sir, this facility was once the property of a Dr. Mobius. He crafted the personality modules as part of a collection of experiments on the subject of machine-human interface. As to the reason for the unusual choices of devices to receive the modules, I cannot say. All right, then. Let's talk about something else. Sir. What services you provide? In addition to managing the personality matrices of the other household utilities, I can provide Sir with direct access to the commissary. Any goods Sir might require may be purchased through my shopkeep interface, whence tiny robots shall deliver them forthwith to this very domicile. All right. Where are we at? Intruder, you will not escape the eyes of my robo-scorpions or their pincers. Is that all right, Doc? Well, I'm not exactly sure what fucking crazy shit I've come into, but I'm gonna tell you right- Ow, motherfucker, I was talking, you mind? Ah. 
You're pissing me off! Fucking asshole. Over here, you having a chat with whoever's floating in the sky watching me, and you decide you're gonna start laying into me? Listen here, you fuck. I ain't got time for this shit. I got a guy to hunt down, and you're in my way! Asshole. Motherfucker. Who the hell? Come here, motherfucker. I'm gonna shove this gun where the sun don't shine. How the hell are you hitting so hard? Bled out. Damn. I'm gonna be honest with you, these boys are a lot tougher than I thought they'd be. Holy shit. How's my armor holding up? Let me take a look real quick. Shit. Ah, oh, fuck me. Alright, we'll do this thing the easy way. Not the hard way, one of the two. Fuck if I ran into. Side note, how's work going today for you, buddy? The small issue once said, why a trauma harness? Sadly, a member of the choked on a buffalo gold seat and died while working late last night for some reason the oh just kicked that out here we go what in the hell ah shit I can't go down How the Sam hell do I get through there? Fine. 